welcome back to another episode of Coin and Sense. Today I have a uh, uh, part two of my summer seafood series that uh, I'm going to be uh, putting out there. Uh, not sequentially, not every week. I may even be interrupted with a, a different cook. But over the period of the summer, I'm going to roll out about the count right now is four. I think uh, it could be as many as six. I'm really, really not sure about that. But today, for part two, uh, my good friend Elliot Smith called me recently and told me he had something for me. Now Elliot, being an avid uh, hunter and fisherman, I knew that whatever it was, it had to be good. So I show up to Elliot's house, and he had this big, huge, fine, about a, probably about six pounds, didn't didn't weigh it, but you'll see it shortly here, uh, redfish that he had caught that morning. Um, Elliot and his daughters, Ava and Allie, uh, decided that they would go ahead and prep this thing up and give it to me so that I could make a video with it. So Elliot cleaned it up, and his daughters gave him a big hand with it. Uh, and had it not been for Ava and Allie over there helping their dad, I wouldn't be making this video today. So Ava and Allie, thank you so much. Today's video is dedicated to you. Now, uh, let's get started with exactly what's gonna happen here today. Uh, while I've got some grill prep going on out there, uh, I thought this would be a good time to go ahead and come in here and kind of let you guys know what, uh, what is, what's going on right here today. And I've just done that. And uh, we're getting ready to pan down here uh, to see exactly what I'm going to do uh, with this big fine redfish. And trust me, when you see it, you're going to wish, man, I wish the hell I had that. Well, I'm glad I do. So let me uh, reposition the camera and we'll be right back and uh, we'll get this uh, show on the road. Voila! Isn't that fine? That is a nice redfish. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm lucky to have good friends like, like Elliot to help me out and give me something such as this. Uh, but nevertheless, thank you, Elliot. Today's main ingredients are going to be uh, our uh, House of Sang stir fry oil. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, you know exactly what this stuff is all about. Uh, we're going to be using some butter, a lemon. These two will show up later on in the day. This is not going to be utilized at this time. Uh, I'll show you what we'll do later with that. And of course, we have our Tony Sacheray's uh, Creole season. Uh, this is quite simple. Uh, this, this is not a very difficult thing to do. The hardest part about it, if there is a hard part, is actually uh, getting, uh, getting it smoked up and cooked up properly just so it tastes as good as I expect it to. So, let's take a look at this bad boy, kind of unfold it. Mm. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. We're not going to waste any of this. We've even left the bellies in here. We'll come along here and pull these bones out. We're going to eat every piece of this with the exception of the back because the scales are on. Down here we call it fish on the half shell. Uh, others just call it, hell, I don't know what the hell they call it, but when you hear fish on the half shell, that's what it means. It's been filleted, cleaned out, ready to go on a grill or a smoker, and basically the scales are going to act as, as basically a dish. So let me, uh, let me get things moved around here, and uh, we'll get this thing up. Uh, prepped the way that we need it. So, I'm going to take my stir fry oil, aka wok oil. That's what it started out as. I'm just going to kind of rub it in here a little. This is a garlic infused based cottonseed oil. Uh, of course it has onion, cilantro, and uh, ginger in it. Uh, it's really going to bring a lot of flavor uh, to the fish and be a real tasty little treat to your palate. We're going to let this sit here for just a little bit, kind of absorb into this fleshy little meat here. And we're going to come back and uh, just go over the top of it with some tonics. All right, we've 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 allowed this stir fry oil to sit here for about 15 minutes, uh, which is ample time. And we're just going to give us a little shake of this Tony Sacheray's or Cacciatore, as I've heard a lot of people refer to it as, but it is Sacheray. We'll give us a nice little liberal coat here in the beginning. Some of this is actually going to absorb up and we'll probably come back here and just touch it one more time. There. Let's let that ride a while. All right, we got 221 degrees actually fluctuating between 219 and 221. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, my ideal temperature is 225 degrees. Um, we'll probably achieve that sometime during this cook. So I'm going to go ahead and put these fish on here. I uh, don't really know how long it's going to take. Uh, 
could be two hours, could be four hours. This is a very thick piece of fish. So, I'll show you what's happening here. Actually got a little water pan in there. Uh, nothing in it, just water. I just want to keep just a little dampness in the smoke. I have nothing else in it but the water. Our fish is primarily mostly water, so I don't want these things to just shrivel up on me. So let me go ahead and get these things placed on here. go for a little while I'll come back and I'll check it I'll probably actually rotate these 180 degrees a piece and then roll them on the grill we'll come back later and check them and just see where we're standing all right we're about an hour into this I think we're gonna take a look at them see what they look like I already know what they look like because I lifted a little a while ago to sneak a picture for uh, Facebook post. So, Kevin Butler, you know who you are. That's what them. That's what them fishes doing over here today, brother. Uh, we still got a lot of moisture along the top, We're laying in the bellies. That's a good sign. Probably gonna let this go another hour, maybe. Uh, we'll, I'll determine that a little while later. All depends. We'll see. Uh, you could actually eat this fish right now. It's. I mean, it is ready to go, but I'm wanting it to reduce a little more and uh, give it more of a smoky flavor, smoky taste, uh, firmer texture, that kind of thing. So that's the way I like them, and that's the way we're going to do them. We'll be back in a little while, and we'll check her out. All right, it's time to start our baste, which is very simple. It's that one stick of butter you see right there. Move that around a little bit. Let it get going. Let that go just a few minutes, kind of reduce about halfway. And we're going to add this one lemon, the juice of one lemon. Alrighty. Should have done this ahead of time. But I didn't think about it. It needs to go. So. Rock it on out of here. If you don't have a lemon, you can actually use the lemon concentrate that you buy. This is just better because it's fresh. Right. I'm going to just go a little bit, reduce. I'm going to turn it down. Let it simmer. And we're going to come back and uh, I'm actually going to baste the fish with that now. Then we're going to come back and add some of this southern flavor garlic seasoning. I've already got the garlic in the stir fry oil. So I'm covered there. I don't want to over garlic this. But it's going to be garlicky. We'll be back here shortly. Two hours and 15 minutes. Let's go with a little base in here. That's exactly where I want to see them, right there. Uh oh. Alright, we're still good. You can smell this right now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'd have to charge $25 for one piece of that. You'd pay it one another one, at which point I give you a second for $15. Alright, we're gonna let this sit on here for just a little while. Probably about 20 minutes when we come back and check it. Because they're almost getting right about to the point where I'm looking for. Meanwhile, uh, where'd you go yet? Oh, there we go. We still got a little seat. We're going to use every bit of this. All right, two hours and 45 minutes. Let's see what we got. And we got exactly what I want to see. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're still firm and tender. The 
they have retained some, you know, some moisture. I didn't want to totally dry them out, but they have tightened up to that texture that I'm looking for when they start busting up. One of them was busted up prior to because of uh, when I went to move it, but kind of stuck a little bit, but that's what you're looking for. I think I'm going to uh, go about another 15 minutes, maybe 20, baste them again. We're getting close. Don't leave now. All right, it's three hours. We're probably going to take our last peek at them. Ooh, rah, rah. And it will be. We're going to take the rest of this base that I've made up here, butter and lemon juice and a uh, little garlic seasoning. Give them one final base. I'm going to snuff the vents on this thing, go inside and get me some foil, wrap them up in some, in some foil and let them naturally rest in there for about 30 minutes. Let them do a slow cool down. And this will be some of the best stuff that I have done lately. <laughs> All right, here we go. Lid down, probably 15 minutes to the floor. Okay, three hours and 15 minutes. I'll take these jewels off of here because they are dead. We're going to put them in this foil and let them wrap them up. And let them rest and do a slow cool down, probably for about 30 minutes or so, and then we'll open them up. Shout out. All right, let me get this other one off of here and see you shortly. All right, we've been resting for 45 minutes. Let's see just what we've got here. The exception me busting that tail up on the oven, but anyway, there she is. Give her a taste. Look at these bones. We'll just pull these right out of here. Let me just show you that real quick. Now we got the whole thing. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that is awesome. That is full of flavor. The lemon, the butter, is that ran? And of course, the stir fry from House of Sand. Well, that's going to wrap it up. Man, was this ever good. Tony Sacherets, the lemon, the butter, applewood smoke. Very good. See you next time.